Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to determine if you have a faulty thermostat. Do you have a friend who's interested in DIY projects? Be sure to refer them over to my channel. A thermostat is the main controller of an engine's cooling system. This is what is used to regulate the engine's temperature. On a warm-up cycle, the thermostat will remain closed so the coolant does not circulate through the radiator to allow the engine to warm up faster. Once the engine and coolant reach a certain temperature, the thermostat will open up, allows the coolant to flow through the radiator, which in turn cools the coolant. The cooler coolant is pumped through the engine, lowering its temperature. A faulty thermostat will become stuck open, stuck closed, or perhaps in between where your temperature will fluctuate large amounts. When stuck open, the engine will take a significant amount of time to warm up, especially more noticeable in a cooler climate, which is currently a problem with this vehicle. If the thermostat were to stick closed, the engine would overheat and, if left for a longer period of time, would eventually cause damage. If it were something in between, you'll notice the engine not maintaining a constant temperature, running hot or cold. As an example, the vehicle was running about 15 minutes ago and it is a typical winter temperature today. It did not reach normal operating temperature after being driven for about an hour. Starting the vehicle, you can see the gauge was at a certain temperature and then dropped slightly. This is from the thermostat being stuck open. The cooler coolant within the radiator was pumped through the engine, passing by the temperature sensor, lowering the gauge reading and engine temperature. The temperature will eventually increase as the vehicle isn't being driven and an excessive amount of air isn't being pushed past the radiator. Next, we can use an infrared thermometer to check the surface temperature reading before and after the thermostat. In this case, the thermostat housing is hidden well, so we can't take a reading right at the housing. When using an infrared thermometer, it's important to use similar types of material surfaces as this can affect the accuracy between the readings. Here I will be using the upper and lower rad hoses. One is removing the coolant from the engine and the other is pumping the coolant back into the engine which is cooler. So at this top rad hose we are looking at 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Next moving on to the lower rad hose. Unfortunately I can't get close enough compared to the top rad hose so you're able to see it on camera so the temperature will be slightly lower as the sensor is measuring over a larger area. This time around we're looking at about 51 degrees Celsius or 124 degrees Fahrenheit. If we were to continue to measure the temperature with the engine running from a cold start until it slowly warms up, we would find that the values would be the same or very close as the coolant is being pumped through the radiator. If the thermostat were to stick closed, making the engine run hot or overheat, then the value at the thermostat would be extremely high and the lower rad hose would be extremely cold. There are two types of radiator flow designs. One is a down flow and the other is a cross flow. Both designs will have an input for hot coolant at the top and the bottom will have an output feeding the cooler coolant back into the engine. As for a replacement overview, the coolant will need to be drained a few liters, but this will depend on where the thermostat is located with regards to the engine's cooling system design. But if you are draining the coolant, it's best to probably replace all the coolant as preventative maintenance. Ensure the new coolant does meet your vehicle's requirements along with what type of climate you live in. Most radiators have a drain at the bottom to drain the coolant, and if it does not, then you can remove a lower rad hose. Styles will vary, but in this situation, the upper radiator hose on a thermostat housing needs to be removed. Then the thermostat housing, and finally you have access to the thermostat. A new thermostat will need to be purchased along with the seal. Here is the old and new thermostat. First the old thermostat which was stuck open. As you can see, it is stuck open, shown by the valve opening. You can see there is light around the seat. Considering the thermostat is cold, it should be closed, which you will see on the new replacement in a moment. Next is a new replacement. Once the assembly reaches a certain temperature, the valve reacts, allowing fluid to flow. Once the new thermostat is installed, replenish the coolant system and bleed the system of any air. Bleeding procedures will vary between vehicles and this is needed as air can become trapped in the cooling system, causing issues. A proper functioning thermostat will reach its specified temperature which is normally around 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius and open within a few degrees of that specification. Now as a demonstration, once it's been replaced, the vehicle is able to warm up and maintain a constant temperature in a colder climate. Using the infrared thermometer again, as the vehicle slowly increases in temperature, the upper and lower radiator hoses remain at cooler temperature. 
You may notice a slight increase in the upper radiator hose past the thermostat as it may have a small bypass which allows the coolant to circulate a small amount. The upper radiator hose is about 32 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the lower is about 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Until it reaches a certain temperature, it opens and you'll notice the upper rad hose increase in temperature. After the vehicle has been running for a few more minutes, again taking another reading, we are looking at 43 degrees Celsius or 109 degrees Fahrenheit on the upper hose and about 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit on the lower hose. Until the vehicle reaches a certain temperature, the thermostat will eventually open up and then the upper radiator hose will increase in temperature. The coolant will flow through the radiator, cooling down, and the temperature will be much cooler at the lower radiator hose. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.